Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on counting bonding and non-bonding electron pairs in a Lewis structure. A Lewis structure is um, just like a Lewis dot structure of an element, but it's the whole compound, or in this case, an ion. So you're going to have uh, different elements here with electrons, uh, dots around it. Uh, remember, it has a total of eight that you can put around it, with the exception of hydrogen and helium, only need two around them. So if you put all that together, you can make a structure of what attaches to what, and whether or not they have a bond made up of two electrons, or a lone pair bond, which is not attached to any electrons at all, or not attached to another element at all. So let's get an example of, um, of water first. If I give you water, H2O, H2O is oxygen uh, that is then surrounded by two hydrogens. Okay, so let's do the, let's do the atomic uh, or Lewis dot structure of oxygen. Uh, it's in group six, so I would say one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I have six dots around that. I'm then going to attach the two that are not doubled to hydrogens, okay? So I've got hydrogen, and it's going to have one, and this one belongs, this, this one belong, um, the, this one right here belongs to the hydrogen, okay? And I've got a hydrogen here, and this one belongs to the hydrogen. So the hydrogen brought one. It is, it is stable when it gets to two. Oxygen brought six, and it's stable when it gets to eight. All right, so if you were to, to do this whole thing, H-O-H, or H-2-O, everything needs to have eight, okay? So does oxygen have eight? Two, four, six, eight. Yes, oxygen is stable. Does hydrogen have eight? Well, hydrogen and helium don't need eight. They only need two. Do they have it? Yep, that one does, that one does, and this one doesn't have anything attached to it, and this one doesn't have anything to attach to it. This is called a lone pair. So this is a lone pair, and the, these are bonding electrons. So the two electrons are being shared as a bond, and these two electrons that are not attached to anything is called a lone pair. So they're just asking you in this problem to identify the bottom hydrogen. So the bottom hydrogen here, does it have bonding electrons? Does it have lone pairs? If so, how many? Okay. So the first one that I would look at is does it have bonding pairs? All right. Well, yes, because it's bonded. It's bonded to the, to the carbon. So the hydrogen, or bottom hydrogen, is going to have, um, so bonding pairs, it'll have one, one set of bonding pairs, and then lone pairs, does it have any that are out, not attached to the hydrogen, but are not attached to any other element? No, there are no bonding, no lone pairs in the bottom of hydrogen. And that's about all she wrote.